Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Today we're going to do the last one the series of a burp sweep. Uh, let me see. So we're still on the wet fundamentals. And I re reset it, the burp sweep extender. Fairly short video. Yeah, let's get right into it. Task one, introduction, outline. Just talking about the extender and load the target machine. You need it or have your own copy. All right, so task two talks about extender. Let me show split review. All right, already load mines. So the, the video, I'm just going to show you how to answer these questions. Uh, as I always recommend it to read through each test to get full understanding what the module is about. Uh, this one, fairly simple. The questions below, familiar side yourself with ex the extension management interface. You can com complete on that. And the next question is, are extensions invoked in ascending or descending order? And as you read through the task, it says extensions are invoked in descending order. So, let's uh, later and it talks by extension. All right, task three, the B, the BAP store. So basically these are just extensions. So you can follow along extension BAP store and it says install the request timer module and take a look at a new tab. So you can scroll down request timer. You click complete. I just want to expand this. You can just click install. See, so once you install, you have request timer right here it's in the tab. The next question is look through the list of apps in the BAP store and install at least one other that catches your fancy. Hint, the logger plus plus for extent the logging functionality is a really good choice. So you can just follow along, go back to extension and it says logger plus plus. And you can install it again. And I believe it's this one, but where is the extension? So see this logger plus plus is multi-threaded logging extension for verb sweep. In addition, logging requests and responses from all Burp Suite tool the extension allows advanced filters. Okay. Task for extender Jiton. It says noted integrated Jiton the Burp Suite has already been done uh, been done for us in the attack box. So please feel free to skip this task if you're not using the local machine. So these are just steps installing. Uh, a Python module and burst sweep if you're on your own burst sweep uh, besides the attacking machine. So, so it just talks about you can go right here extender options, extender, and there's Java environment, Python environment. So it has links and the questions below is a bonus question optional add JRuby to your bursary install. The download link can be found here. A process for this exact for this exactly the same as Jython. So JRuby and J and JDon. You can complete. Task five, the burp suite API. So it just talks about the API tab. 
It says you can use the Burp Extender API tab to create your own extension, customize Burp's behavior. So it says read through questions below, read through the information about the Extender API, and the bonus question, read through the list of API endpoints and find a few which interest you. Have a look through the documentation. Can you see how the endpoints might be used? So it just talks about read through the these tabs, core, extender, extension, talk about the functionality. And yeah, you can take your own time and read through it. You can just click complete. And task six, conclusion, room conclusion. It just talks about you completed all the burp sweep uh, modules. And uh, once you go through all the burp sweep modules, you can pretty much use the burp sweep extender pre Burp Sweep, uh, this application real good. So you get complete and you can actually share your word bash, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, as already shared on my LinkedIn. It's a fairly short video guys, uh, give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, like button, comment below. Uh, let me know how I improve these videos. Uh, yeah, this was a very sh short video and it's a, yeah, Labor Day weekend for me. Um, and as you know, guys, I don't, I do, I'm not in the IT industry yet. Uh, I do have active certification for CompTAI. This is recognized by my uh, current work. So I have A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pandas+, and Security+. Plus. All right, guys. Till the next video. Thanks for watching.